What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, before now before we get started with this week's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close, and we are now halfway to 500 subs. Who knows? Maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the summer. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs. I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to 1,000 subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its, in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners over at Collector Store on the hopes to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of the set, much similar to what I pulled out of my Genesis Impact box that I opened up last year, which is this beautiful... Beat Cop from the Underworld, this thing looks absolutely amazing as a collector's rare. But with that being said, if you guys want to see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of, w of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more, more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be, so if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a lot of you guys are, because more than 85% of you guys are watching the content, but you guys haven't haven't even, even, even subscribed. And, to top it all off, we gotta get more women to watch the content as well. So if you guys are watching the content, you like the content, and you want more of the content, but you guys have not subscribed as of yet, then make sure you guys do indeed subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, <clears throat> make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. All of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below, answering the question of the day, which is this. What cards... Would you guys like to see get hit on the next Forbidden and Limited list? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm very curious of what you guys have, have to say. Because honestly, because honestly, with with the last ban list that we that we had gotten, yeah, yeah, sure, it might have hit like maybe maybe one deck at and like at least like like one or two decks. The problem is that. It didn't hit all. It didn't hit the main decks that 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 actually needed to get hit. Sword Soul is is definitely is definitely one of the main decks that 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 needed to get hit. Um, uh, uh, Snake Eye is is definitely definitely another one, and there was one other one, but I don't remember what deck that was. But when you but when you look when you look at at the at the last balance that we had just gotten, which was the, which was the the April fifteenth ban list, the cards that, that that got banned were actually pretty pretty insane. I mean, I mean, we had Link Karibo banned, we had Baron de Flor banned, Borlode Savage Dragon get hit, got hit, uh, Summon Limit got banned. So we had quite a few. Um, quite quite a few really good cards, and a, and a lot of the trap cards that are in that are still banned right now are mostly like, excuse me, are are mostly like uh uh floodgates cards like cards like Imperial Order cards like uh Royal Oppression Summon Limit was definitely definitely another one Ultimate Offering Vanity's and Va Vanity's Emptiness in a way they're floodgates. Floodgates are the main cards that still need to get hit. And also, when you look at the cards that got limited to one, you have Arch Nemesis Protos, Magic Spectre and Unicorn Kirin, Title Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls, meaning now all four Dragon Rulers 
are legal in today's meta, which is absolutely insane. And then, of course, you have Thunder Dragon Colossus, uh, Chicken Game, and, of course, Anti-Spell Fragrance. And then the cards that got semi-limited, you have, you have Armageddon Knight, Purely Delicious Memory, and then, and then the cards that, and then the, <clears throat> the cards that got taken off the list, you have Destiny Hero, Malicious, Harpoor, Terror Top, and of course, and of course, Mobilize, Engage, are the cards that got taken off the list. Honestly, crazy as it sounds, I'm being real, the Floodgates need to get hit. There can be, there can be only one, goes in match, all these cards, all these cards that are Floodgates need to get hit. The reason being is because is is because if they is I can't speak. Um, it's it's because if if the floodgates continue to 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 dominate the meta, nobody nobody's gonna end up playing 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 the game, and and, and essentially just becomes again unplayable. But again, the three decks. That need to get hit are are Sword Soul, Snake Eye, and the other one that I was referring to was uh, Rescue Ace. That was the other one. That was the other one. I was gonna say Purely, but Purely doesn't really do a whole lot, a whole lot in today's meta. Um, just because, just because of the fact that, of the fact that you really don't have a whole lot of a whole lot of versatile monsters. To make to make the deck actually meta, it's more it's more so of a of a side package, in if you will, for whatever main deck you're playing. So if you're playing like let's say, let's say as just as as an example, I know it's not act, not an actual deck as far as I know, but let's say it was um, let's say pure let's say let's say I guess Pendulum, perhaps. Then purely Pendulum would be would be would be the deck. So that's just it's only a mere example, but still, but still, honestly though, I think as far as Snake Eye goes, one of the main cards that needs to get hit is Snake Eye Ash. The reason being is because of what it can do, and I'm actually gonna go on Nexus and show you guys. So give me one. Second. Okay. Now that. And now, okay, I am in. Let's go here. Pick a random deck. <sighs> Okay, Snake Eye Ash, which is literally the main combo starter for the entire deck. The effects read, read as follows. If this card is, is normal or special summon, you can add a fire. You can add a you can add a level one fire monster from your deck to your hand. You can send two face-up cards you control to the grave, including this card. Special summon a snake eye monster from your hand deck from your hand deck except this card. You can only use each effect once per turn. Literally, this gives you this gives you this can get you into into cards like Snake Eyes Diabell Star and even also uh, Snake Eyes Flamberg Dragon, which Flamberg Dragon is like by far the most insane card in the entire format just because of what it just because just because of the fact that it's more of a it it's it's literally it's literally literally like a floodgate if you will so so its effect reads reads you can target one face up monster on the field or 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 in either grave place it face up in its owner spell trap zone as a continuous spell during your opponent's turn as a quick effect you can target one monster card, treat it as a continuous spell on the field, special summon it to your field. If this card is sent from, from the hand or field to, to the grave, you can special summon two, two level 1 fire monsters from your grave. 
can only use each effect once per turn. So literally, so the so the four so the four Snake Eye cards cards that are that are level one. You have Oak, Ash, Poplar, and Birch. The only card that's actually that's actually more meta relevant is is obviously Snake Eye Ash. So 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 logically speaking, if Konami were to hit hit both Ash and Flamberg Dragon, the deck doesn't the deck does not function. You do not have a functioning Snake Eye deck whatsoever. I would say say that Konami could also ban the Abel Star, but but I don't think it's as meta relevant as Flamber Dragon because Flamber Flamber Dragon is, is is a is is a three of Dia Bellstar, I believe from what I from what I had seen on on social media, I think it's supposed to be a one of. But but I'll read off Dia Bellstar's effects. When when an, when an attack is declared involving this card and an opponent's monster, you can place this card from the field and that opponent's monster face up in its in their owner spell and trap zones as continu as continuous spells. While this card is is a continuous spell, you can target one fire monster in your grave except except this card. Place it face up in its owner's spell and travels out as a continuous spell. And if you do, special summon this card. Basically, you you have yourself a floodgate in the form of this card. If this card were to get, even if this card were to get 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 limited to one, it wouldn't matter. The deck would still be able, would still be be able to play it. But what would happen? What 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 would happen if Konami? Did ban Ash and Flamberg Dragon? Answer: The deck would would not function. You wouldn't be be able to function anything. You wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't be be able to play the deck whatsoever. <clears throat> so that's so that's definitely those are definitely two cards I could totally see getting getting banned really easily. But as far as uh, Rescue Ace goes, tur Turbulence and I think. I think Monitor are the two main cards that 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 need to get hit. What does Monitor to do? Let's see. Monitor's effect reads: If this card, uh, let's see here, on on summon, you can add a Rescue Ace trap from from your deck to your hand. <clears throat> when your opponent activates a monster effect on on the field as a as a quick effect, you can target this card from your hand or face of, or sorry, tribute this face of. Tribute this card from your hand or face of field. Target a rescue ace monster in your grave except this card special summon. Yeah, so basically, so I, I think it's monitor. Monitor Fire Engine? Yeah, Fire Engine and Turbulence are, 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 are the three main cards that, that, that need to get hit. Because with because because with turbulence with with turbulence, you literally get get to set four. Up to four. Rescue Ace back card uh 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 speller uh, uh, uh speller traps directly to your field. You literally can set what are the what are the rescue ace cards? Um Rescue, Rescue Ace HQ, Dramat no. Hang on guys. Um, so, so there's Rescue Ace HQ. There's Rescue Ace HQ. I think there's also, um, there's also, <clears throat> there's also, also Extinguish. So you've got quite a few, um, Quite quite a few uh, card cards that 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 you can set, and also and also it pop it, it pops cards. Literally, this card can help you get get to your floodgates, no problem. Not much else else to say about that. There's really not a whole lot a, a whole lot to say about that. Now, as far as Sword Soul goes, here's the thing. I've been um. I've been so obviously you guys know I've been playing a lot of Master Duel um, 
for 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 the last several months now <clears throat> and every time i get on i get on master duel i always end up playing against sword soul why because because nobody likes likes to have fun that's the problem the way i see it the way i see it it's the synchros that that need to get hit and and it's 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 not just the three synchros. It's also uh, uh, Moye and Taya. It's like it's like the moment you see Moye or Taya, you automatically have have full combo right off the bat, and that can get you to literally summoning all three synchros in a single turn. Plus Baron de Flor set three pass. That's that right there is the is the is probably the most cancerous end board. Sword Soul players could ever build, could ever make. Because here's the thing, Shei Ying, Shei Ying's effect reads, reads, for each banished card, this card gains gains 100 attack and defense, and monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack and defense. If this card would be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish the card from your grave instead. If a card is banished except during the damage step, you can banish a card from both your opponent's field, field and grave. You can only use this effect once per turn. Literally, it's called by on steroids. Now, as far as Long Wong, Long Wong is just absolutely horrendous. If you if you synchro summon another 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 worm monster while this card <clears throat> is 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 on the field, you can draw one card. If your opponent special summons the monster except except during the damage step, you can banish one of those monsters and if you do inflict 1200 damage to your opponent, when your opponent activates the spell trap or or effect as a quick effect, you can banish banish that card. If you do inflict 1200 damage to your opponent, you can only use each effect once per turn. Literally, it's it's literally it's literally pot of greed. Mixed in with a, with dam dealing damage to your opponent, and it can also banish your cards. And she shall. It's a fucking um. It's a fucking omni negate. The effects read 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 as follows: If if this card is is synchro summon, you can add to your hand or banish a sword soul card from your deck. As and then it's and and then it has another effect that reads that reads quick effect. <clears throat> You can banish one sword soul card, card or war monster from your hand or grave. Target one other effect monster on the field. Negates effects until the, until the end of the turn. You can only use one one effect per turn and only once that turn. So literally, you have three 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 of the most broken cards in the fucking deck, which are the three synchros for 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 sword soul. I feel like it's if if. I feel like it's if 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 those three cards got hit, the deck would be unplayable 100%. And and I think it, it would give Konami an, an idea to do the exact same thing over on over on Master Duel, which would be pretty interesting to say to to say the very least. <clears throat> now, as far as what as far as the cards, that I would I would love to see go go get i would love to see get limited to one as crazy as it sounds as crazy as it sounds i'm gonna have to actually say where hold on where is it um as as crazy as crazy as it sounds i think honestly and i'm probably gonna get a lot a lot of heat for this but i feel like as if with how with how the meta is now and with how much and, and with how insane it's been i feel like as if cards like cards like like number n number 95 galaxy eyes dark dark matter dragon as well as if i can find it uh some more bird of sovereignty could definitely come back and the reason for and and the reason I, I I bring up those two is because with 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 Samorg you really don't see Fluendaries all that much anymore. Only time only time you see him is 
is all in Master Duel. So I, so I feel like it's if, if, if Konami were to ban Rise of the Rise of the Mega Monarch and bring and, and bring this card back, I, I feel like it's if, I, I feel like it's if decks like decks like Harpy, as well as, um, oh, what's another win win based deck? Um, oh my God, what's another one? I think. Uh, yeah, I think Harpy is Harpy is like is like is like one of the main decks, but I feel like as if deck deck win based decks like that could definitely could could definitely get get their time to truly flourish and, and become a really a really good deck. Where 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 as opposed to 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 number number ninety five, <clears throat> get Galaxy Eyes could make its way back into in into the meta. And with and with Thunder Dragon Colossus now at one, we could see we could end up seeing 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 number uh, number ninety five make its way back into into the meta as well. But obviously, obviously, I doubt I, I doubt that we'll ever see them. I know that, and I even also doubt that Max C will t get taken off off the list. If it does, I can guarantee you that. Um, I, I can guarantee you that the whole world is gonna is, is just gonna be in shambles. I can guarantee you that right now. So Konami, do not unban do not unban Maxi. Do li literally, dear Konami gods, do not unban Maxi. Sincerely, everybody who who doesn't want to play against Max C. If you know, you know. <clears throat> um, but I I also feel like as well as crazy as it sounds, as well. I truly believe that Fiber Jar could also come back. And I know that that it's a bit of a weird card card to bring up, but Fiber Jar is actually is actually kind of, kind of sick. Fiber Jar, here we are. Uh each player shuffles all cards from from their hand field and grave in 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 into the deck and draw five cards. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, this to be fair, it would be cool Cool to see Fiber Jar come come back, especially for, <clears throat> especially for um for the Edison tournaments. Oh, you know, with you know, you know, at you know, at YCS events and whatnot. I think it would be pretty in in pretty interesting. Um, but but as far as like as far as cards I could see get taken off off the list like completely. I don't know. I don't. I really don't think there's anything like if I like if if. If I were to pick one, I would probably say something like maybe, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, maybe smoke, smoke grenade, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, but maybe, but ooh, I just thought of something. Maybe six cents could also make its way into the form. Ah, eh, you know, actually, what? No, actually, no, I don't, I, I don't think so, because that would just give, that would just give Fluent de Rees. And Sword Soul even more firepower than than ever before. So honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I. But again, those three decks: Sword Soul, uh, Rescue Ace, and um, and Snake Eye are probably the three three biggest decks that that def definitely need to get hit. But I'm very curious curious of what you guys think about about the, about all of this. Let me know down in the comments below. And that'll do it for this week's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to, to the channel and you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue in the future, then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. All of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.